my darlings, and welcome back to more Silent Hill 2. If you're new to my channel, then definitely welcome, welcome. If you're returning, I am very happy you decided to come back and see more. Where we last left off, we got done with the hospital, and we were just running around picking up items as we were heading towards our objective goal, which is to get to the wrench and the letter, and eventually over to Rosewater Park. Or, yes, Rosewater Park. And yes, yes, I am not ashamed to admit I am using a walkthrough for this particular section of the game because there is a lot of items just scattered around and they're going to come in useful. They are really going to come in useful, but you just got to look for them. If you were on a higher difficulty level, it would most certainly be extremely useful. I'm on a lower difficulty level just because I'm just goofing off playing this game. It's not, you know, serious, serious. So I just have it on a low level. But it's still nice to have it, and I am admit I am a total freaking hoarder. And we are going to go up Needle Street. Oh. Hi, mannequin. Freaking asshole. Pick it up, James. Oh. Hate you guys. I really hate you guys. And another first aid kit. And I believe we're nearing Happy Burger, and there he is going to be. Handgun bullets, hamburger bullets. What the hell am I talking about? We're gonna come back into Neely's bar in just a second, but first things first, we're going to run past the mannequin that we almost just walked into. The big fucking moron. Again, with Silent Hill creatures, you really don't get anything for them, for killing them or anything. You don't get like experience points or toughness or anything like that. So you're not gaining anything by killing them. They're, you know, unless they're like right up in your grill, just go past them. It's just really not worth the headache of dealing with these guys. I do not remember, but I think there might be something over here. At the restaurant area. Can I just click through? I, okay, yeah, we'll get up there to look. I'm in the wrong spot. Okay, let's go across the street to Neely's Bar. Now, if you were going for the, another ending, you could just skip going into here again. But there is a particular ending I am going for, so that's why we're coming back in here. No, of course, it is also incredibly creepy and fun. Okay. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place than Mary, James. <sighs> and there was a hole here. It's gone now. Okay. Much fun. Let us continue. Saunders Street. Okay. Yep. So let's go to Saunders Street. I think we're on Saunders Street, but we're just going to go across the street because there is some, some stuff. 
And of course, like an idiot, it's really not that hard to get lost in Silent Hill. It's not. You're gonna get everybody gets so lost. I mean, this game is really there is no shame in being a map hoarder. There's just not. Just enjoy the fact that you got a map. No, this game would be it would be so extremely helpful if they actually gave us like a compass or something on the screen, but they don't. Because they want you to use that map. Just break that map up. Okay. I think we have to kill this nurse. No, we're just gonna make this for Hello, nurse. And then we're gonna go a little bit further down, and then we will be coming. Back around. Because yes, we did go past the spot where the wrench and the letter are at. Get all the pick up all the little items that we can for the next section, which is gonna be oh so much fun. Hello, nurse. Bye, bye, nurse. Yes, I just don't like you, and you don't particularly like me, so we're just gonna avoid each other. I think it's easier that way. No, no, don't cry, don't cry. It's okay. We're just going to pick up these little shotgun shells. And we're just going to go ahead and cross the street here. I might or might not be missing a couple of items out on the streets, but you know, I want to actually get to some gameplay. More than just running around the streets. Hello, mannequins. Again, just don't don't even bother with the creatures unless they're like about to rape you. Just keep on moving. As long as you keep moving, you're pretty well safe inside. That's one of those things. Just, just keep going. Yeah, but we do need to be on this side of the street because this is where it very obviously tells you to go up here. Not a wrench. And there is our letter. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of the abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park at the foot of the praying woman inside the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but I did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but at the museum... But the museum was sealed as well. No one now, no one now, no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Like, who's leaving those letters? Who's leaving this? You know, kind of part of me wishes that they would have, um, you know, they would do some stuff with some of these other buildings. Oh, shit, shit. Go this way. And we need to be on... Go to there's some more items up on this side of the street. It's so hard to see, even with the brightness up and everything like that, it's still 
very, very difficult to see this game is rather dark. Which, of course, I you know, is wonderful. It adds to the suspense and all this good stuff, but... Oh, I think I got these earlier. Yeah. And we're gonna go past the Woodside apartment. Okay. Because now we gotta get back to Ruby's apartment. And again, like. I've said before, that, you know, after dark. And hit in the other world. And like we are now, there are items, new items and stuff that show up. So you just kind of gotta keep an eyeball out for them. Here's the inside apartments that we first came in when we first started up here. Where is the date entrance? There, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this one. Run all the way down to the end. Let's end the cat street. Oh. Uh, I just didn't look well enough. My screen is pretty big. It is on the uh, computer monitor. I didn't, you know, wire split it over to the um, uh, television. You know what? A couple of freaking items. Just I'm not sweating it. The door that wake that wakes in darkness opens into an opening into night. Hello, nurse. Goodbye, nurse. And of course, we're going the wrong fucking way. Hi, nurse lady. And now this is open. Yay. And I think we just didn't, hadn't gone far enough down. And we're back on this side. Yep. Okay, I know where we're at now. I know where the items are at. I remember this. It was definitely in the wrong spot. This is all residential stuff, so that's kind of cool. I actually like the idea of running through the residential neighborhoods and stuff. I think it's more interesting. Go, we got our first aid kit. And over here. It's our first aid kit, I believe, some bullets. Yep. Oh, James, make up your mind. Which way do you want to look? Okay, we got our first aid kit. Not leaving without this fucking ampule, guys. So you just might as well go ahead and give this shit to me. We're in the right spot, aren't we? I got enough freaking health items. We're good. We are good. And now just to run up the, run up the street and 
go into Rosewater Park. Now, I think there's a couple items along the way. I might miss them. I might not. I am just trying to. Nurse, kick it, hey James. And I'm probably being an idiot, but it looks like an open country. Is it? No, it's just a freaky texture on the ground. Well, sorry, nurse, didn't mean to smack you. You know, you were just kind of wandering the street, just walking your way. And some crazy white dude just run up on you with the board, and bust your head open. Sorry. We're not normally so violently killer. Who am I lying? Of course we are. I don't think there's anything up here, but no. I wish there was, though. That would be, like, awesome and cool if there was uh, some extra stuff up there or whatever. But of course there never is. No. A lot of times you can kind of determine where items are at because they will have like a bunch of monsters and stuff near it just to, you know, fuck with you. But we just keep on going because as far as I know there ain't jack shit between here and Rosewater Park. Now I do... Okay. Now if you had played through this and got... Um, on one particular ending, there is a joke ending that all the Silent Hill games have, which is the UFO dog ending. You would get the key, I believe, here at Jack's Inn. But you, I think you'd come here earlier and get it. But when you first came to Rose, the first time you come to Rosewater Park. But this area, there there would be a doghouse, and you can get the um, key for the the um, you know, get the UFO ending. I have not gotten the UFO ending in Silent Hill 2 yet. Mostly because I just never got around to doing it. I do a lot. Of, I've done a lot of the other ones. I've gotten all the. Well, I've gotten all the other endings except for that particular ending. Mostly just because you know it's not a big deal for to me to have you know that ending. Though there is there is some stuff scattered around. There is stuff scattered around Rosewater Park. You just kind of gotta look for it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Well, we're gonna, gonna go over here. I don't think there's anything over here, but we're still gonna look. Why? Because I look. And as you're watching this and you're seeing me play, you know I look at everything. Because I'm crazy, and I'm a hoarder, and I want those items. And when I really don't need them. Happy all. Yay. Okay. And Okay, yeah, we're right across from the where we need to go. So we can just come down here, I believe. Yep. Cross over. Yanks, how about we get out from behind the bushes? That would be really, really nice. Thank you, dude. Shit. Fucking camera. Stop swinging around like crazy. Making me all confused and shit. And there is the praying statue. I'm gonna read the front if there isn't. Victims of persecution by blank Jenny Carroll lived with pride and honor. What happened here shall not be forgotten. The ground is raised up only here. Could there be something under here? Will you dig? Well, of course we shall dig. And while James digs, I'm taking a sip of coffee. Ah, yum, yum. Iced coffee. Let's 
It's a small metal box. The small metal box is fastened by bolts. I can't open the lid. Well, we are going to use this lovely. I used the wrench. And we got the old bronze key. Yay. And it's now time to get our perspective behinds out of this area and over to the Historical Society, which really sucks, because I hate the damn Historical Society. It is such a pain in the behind to do. Oh my god. It is where shit starts getting really freaky in this game. I mean, I understand, yeah, it's kind of freaky all over, but it really gets much, much worse there. And this is a long run. It is like, it's going to be a long run. But we're going to run it. And then when we get to the historical society, I'm going to go ahead and save, and we're going to stop the capture there. There's just like a whole bunch of everything all along this street. There's nurses, there's mannequins, there's no items, so don't even worry about it. Just run down the street. Though you might want to stay on the right-hand side because about the right over by the historical society, there will be an item for you to pick up. But we're just going to keep on running. Because James is a runner with his board, busting nurses in the head, and it's so dark. You can keep running, James. I was hoping I could try to get the and just get his camera around to look at some of the billboards and stuff, but no, not today. They're not gonna let us. That's all right, though. We will just try our little merry selves right on down this path. Ah, uh, nurse. Yeah, nurse says. Like, uh, like in the original Silent Hill, the nurses were like. Yeah, grandma and nurse, you know. Bust your head, give you a quick kick to the slats. Get our little health kit, or first aid kit. And we are almost at the historical society. Yay, finally. Oh, shit. I most of you did run right past the Bronze key, get our arches inside. Now there are a couple of items in here that I am not going to pick up because they are required for a particular ending that is an ending I am not going for. So say okay. And we are going to go ahead and stop here. I hope everybody's enjoying these videos, having a good time, listening to me ramble on for quite a while. You know, give us, you know, if you like the videos, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, you know, hit that subscribe button, share, whatever. And I hope everybody's having a good time, having a good weekend, and we will see you, see you at the next recording. And peace out. Bye-bye.